Good morning, first grade. So this week we are going to be doing a unicorn pitch matching exercise. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to just show you this reference chart. This is the anchor chart that we have in the wall at school. The solfege wall looks very much like this. And I want you to just notice that the pitches when they go up look higher on this anchor chart. So we would normally sing do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And they go up, they look higher, um, they come down, they look lower, and it will look that way in your music too. Today, we are working with mi, so, and la. So out of those three, la is the highest and mi is the lowest. So is in the middle, so, la, mi. Okay, so when we get to the music, just kind of keep in mind that me is the lowest one, la is the highest, and so is in the middle. Here is the example that we are going to be looking at today. So when you look at these, um, they, they will look like this, and you're going to match the um, picture in or the thought bubble of the unicorn. So the unicorn is thinking of a pitch pattern you're gonna to have to match it to the correct one on the right that's written on the staff. So the unicorn is thinking, so la, so me, so la, so me. So it'll go middle, high, middle, low, so la, so me. All right, so now that you kind of have it in your head, I want you to look over at these patterns. Here's pattern one, and we'll just trace it with our fingers. Here's two. Here's three. So which one matches? So, la, so, me, middle, high, middle, low. If you answered one, you are correct. Middle, high, middle, low. La is going to be above the line because it is at the very top of our pitches today. So la is going to be up here. So la, so me. All right. So in this text box, I'm going to type our answer, which is one. And then I'm going to show you how to find the right answer. If you click on this circle and you bring it down into this text box, somewhere in there is going to be the answer. If the answer in this text box matches your answer down here, you can go to the next color. I'm going to take us backwards because we needed to do this one too. All right. So here's the next one. We'll do one more together. The unicorn's thought pattern is so la la so here it is again so la la so middle high high middle so there's no me in this one so that should help you out here's pattern one here's pattern two and here's pattern three Here it is again, so, la, la, so. So which one of those patterns on the right matches this one on the left? If you said two, you are right, so, la, la, so. So again, we're gonna type our answer into this text box down here. And then I'm gonna take this circle and use my arrow keys and bring it down to the text box here and reveal the answer. And if they match, then I can go on. If they don't, then I'm gonna think about what went wrong. Like, why didn't my answer match? Where, where exactly did I go wrong? And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna fix this answer down here, okay? So um, you're gonna get to, you're gonna go through all the rainbows um, colors and then when you get to the end, hopefully, the unicorn will be at its home once more.